there's many markets nowadays that are becoming increasingly craft or homemade or specialty. We can think of the soap market or the market for water or cocktails or beer, or in our case, the market for coffee. How does this market move toward becoming increasingly craft? That's what our research examines. And we find that we have these sets of beliefs in society where people want perfect aesthetic experiences, like drinking a coffee that will have like acidic raspberry flavors. And in markets, we have firms that follow these beliefs, wanting to perfect aesthetic experiences. And they evolve in conjunction with other firms that try to maximize profitability. And these two types of firms, craft firms and commercial firms, will innovate differently. So for example, we have Starbucks, that's a commercial firm that has created the pumpkin spice to try to make profit out of coffee by selling that to the greatest number of consumers possible. And similarly, we have craft firms that have created homemade coffee drinks. And now this language has been borrowed by commercial firm. And Starbucks or Second Cup or Tim Horton or Dunkin' Donuts now talk about making homemade coffee. So over time, the interaction between these craft firms and these commercial firms, between their innovation and adaptations, increasingly moved the coffee market or really any market like those for whiskey or cocktails towards becoming increasingly craft.